17 people killed in a mass shooting at a Florida high school. So people, most of them kids. We are here in Texas tonight at the scene of the latest mass shooting at an American school. Tonight, an entire campus wrapped in police tape. This one taking the lives of 10 people, eight of them students. As you can imagine, it is a challenging, difficult morning. George is on the scene in Florida where another community is in disbelief, shocked by devastating violence, this time at that Florida high school on Valentine's Day. At two in the afternoon, gunshots ring out in this South Florida high school, terrified students hiding in classrooms during the gunman's rampage. The shooter reportedly first pulled a fire alarm to get more students out of the classroom, maximizing potential victims. Parkland consistently voted one of the safest communities in America until today. A gunman in a trench coat opening fire early yesterday morning. Students sent fleeing, first responders rushing in, two police officers confronting that shooter. The suspect, a 17-year-old student, surrendered and allegedly confessed to the crime. He has already appeared before a judge and is now charged with murder. Tonight, a portrait of the gunman is coming into focus, and we're getting a clearer picture of what it was like to be inside that terrifying attack. He threw something at the desk, and I heard it, but I didn't think nothing of it. It just sounded like a pin. Five seconds later, a loud bang. My ears started ringing, loud bang, loud bang, and then it just everything kind of went crazy from there. I didn't know what to think. I shouldn't be going through this. This is my school. Like, this is my daily life. I should not have to feel like that. And I feel scared to even go back.